What's happening, everybody? I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and it's time for our college football week six rapid fire. Use the promo code WILD, W-I-L-D, and save yourself 20% off the entire Picks and Parlays site. I'm here with the expert handicapper, Sean Higgs. How's it going, Higgs? You ready to rapid fire away? Yeah, we're gonna fire away here. Maybe get a couple winners, a couple tough ones that we, you know, we throw out, you know, late stuff, a lot of uh, top twenty-five kind of thing. So we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. You know, just because folks, we see it all the time. Just because the game's there doesn't mean you got to bet it. A lot of action out there. If you don't have a strong lean, you don't gotta come in on games. We try to give you a little tidbit, but doesn't mean you bet everything on the board when there's sixty-seven football games or whatever next going on. You know. No, you definitely don't have to do that. No one's making you. Just because they play, you don't have to bet on them. Right. Um, so pick your spots, people. We're going to start off with Penn State at the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawkeyes minus one at home. The total's 41. Fire away. Yeah, and right off the bat, we get what? A proverbial ranked, what, three? Ranked three and four, these two teams, right? Two, uh, tough game here, and it's a basically a pick them. You got Iowa coming off. And listen, I had Maryland last week, and we turned the ball over seven times in four minutes or whatever it was. They have a shot. And a lot of times I'll say, well, you can't handicap turnovers, right? They happen. You know, maybe you get one, like, oh, it'd be nice we get a turnover here, pick for seven, be great. Six turnovers, five turnovers. I mean, Iowa gets guys to turn the ball over three, four times a game, every single game. Like, at this point, you have to think Penn State's going to cough it up a couple times or just throw an interception. Um we got two good defensive teams. We got an ugly offense in Iowa. We've seen Penn State play ugly. I want to go under to 41 here. You're like 41, and you see teams score 50 at will, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do the under, though. It's it's too low for me. I know it's all about defense and these guys. I'm going to go over 41. I think we'll see some points. I think this is going to be like a 27-24 type game. Turnovers, be damned. You know, I think they'll generate points off the turnovers. Because Iowa, when they get their turnovers, they're usually pushing in for touchdowns and blowing teams out. So whatever happens here, we're going to see some more points. So don't be scared by that 41. Initially, you're going to be like, oh, that's ugly. I want to go under. Nah, we're going to go over that total. We're going to go over. Don't be fooled by the defenses and turnovers. We'll generate some points here. So over the total of a 41. Okay. Up next on the slate, we've got the Michigan Wolverines at the Corn Huskers of Nebraska. Wolverines minus three and a half on the road, and the totals 50 and a hook. You know, I had Nebraska left for dead. We took Illinois opening week zero, whatever you want to call that. And I'm like, yeah, Nebraska, Frost is going to get out of here. Hot seat, here it comes. You're, the family left him. I, I thought this guy's out of here, right? The whole before the season. He had practices he shouldn't have had. Like, they're trying to get rid of the guy, like ratting him out. No one knows but the coaches. Somebody ran him out. But yet, here they are. Dropping a 56-7 to seven bomb on Northwestern. Not that Michigan's Northwestern. I don't know if I can take the three and a half. I want to because maybe the quarterback's finally – it's only taken him 10 years, I think, he's been here. But I'm going to go over. We're going to go over. Lean-wise, I can't trust Harbaugh. When's the last time he's actually won, like, a meaningful game? I know Nebraska's not uh, supposed to be a good team, but they're winning. I, I can't trust Michigan. And it's gone up since the start of the show. It's three, it's three and a half now. I can't. Don't no way. I can't do that. I'm gonna go over probably some points. I'll leave them. Somebody's gonna make stupid mistakes over to 50 and a half. Over we go. Tigers, LSU Tigers. I should definitely be specific there. Um, <laughs> are at the Kentucky Wildcats. Wildcats are minus three at home, 50 and a half on this one as well. Yeah, and here we go. We're gonna a little side action for you. We're not doing all totals, folks. We're gonna go LSU, and I'll even say like a money line play here. You can grab the three, whatever. You know what? Take LSU my line. In off a loss to Auburn. Ugly game. This team, I mean, like, running backs rolling over in their grave. 70 yards from this LSU offense. I mean, they don't have Joe Burrow quarterback. They should be throwing 900 times a game. And Kentucky beating Florida, huge letdown spot for them. Huge letdown. They've been in one-score games. Here we go. Seven-point game, six-point game, five-point game, seven-point game. Everything is right there. So that's a that's a coin flip to me. That's a coin flip. Give me the uh, plus 125-ish, I guess, to get on three. Whatever, you get 140. Find a good number. Shop around. They're all different. Take the plus money here. If you want three, I understand. But I'm not scared. I'm going money line. LSU, Bayou Bengals, get it done. <laughs> all right. The Bayou Bengals. I love it. Notre Dame fighting Irish are in a pick em with Va Tech Hokies. Total on this one's 47. Who are we picking in this pick em? I would have liked Vitek with a little plus 105. Now it's a pick em. I'm still liking the Hokies. I'm still liking 
Listen, I had Notre Dame last week, and I had Wisconsin the week before. I'm looking at the lines. Wisconsin minus six. This is a joke. Why is this line like this? They're begging to take Notre Dame. Well, Notre Dame did come out and blow their doors off them in the second half. And then they started out as a one-point fade and turned into a underdog versus Cincinnati. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe everybody's just not having faith in Notre Dame, not coming to Notre Dame. They don't show up the first half. So you got Whiskey, Cincy, two tough physical teams. You know, Whiskey's one of those teams which I thought they'd dominate Notre Dame in, in the trenches there. But that's a tough, tough game. And now here you go on the road after a home loss, which, you know, I mean, Notre Dame losing home is rare, losing to a team that's not a top 10 power five team. I know Cincinnati's good. I'm, I'm not trying to knock Cincinnati, but tough spot. Flying out to Virginia Tech, who is in off a of bye week. They got a little mobile quarterback themselves. They kind of give Notre Dame a little bit of fits. I'm going to take Virginia Tech here. I want, let's go money line. I, people are going to come in on Notre Dame. Oh, they can't lose. Well, you know, they've lost. They've lost, folks. I mean, they can lose. By Tech, no one's probably thinking about them. Give me the Hokies. All right. I'm going to give them to you. You can have the Hokies. All right. Last one. We're talking Alabama Crimson Tide minus 18 at the Texas A&M Aggies. Totals 51 in this one. I think Alabama scored more points last week than A&M scored in like the last three games. I mean, really. I, this A&M, and I thought coming in here, beginning of the season, I'm like, I'm taking A&M at home plus seven. It'll be a nice money line play. Give me the Aggies and knock off Alabama with a new quarterback and a new OC and Wide receiver. Uh, I, listen, Alabama or nothing here. If you don't want a lady 18, I understand. How about first half? Late at 10 in the first half. How's AM scoring? How about the under? We go a lot of different ways with this. None of them include taking Texas AM. How do you <laughs> how do you extend your head coach two or three years into a 10-year contract and they scored like nine points for the last three weeks? I mean, there's yeah, I don't know. I'd say first half Bama, under game, and then Bama late, late 20. Bump it up for a little plus money. Later, I mean, who, how's AM scoring? Bama has a defense, folks. Throw out that Florida game. You know, first game on the road to Swamp. All right, AM, I get a 12th man. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Under Bama first half, Bama for the game by three touchdowns. Something I've uh, picked up over on the morning wood show the Bama first half is definitely a trend, not even a trend. It's like a real thing that happens. But a lot of them look at Bama first quarter as well. Just to throw that your way, viewers yeah. at home, first quarter, second quarter, first half. There's three bets for you right there. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much, Sean Higgs, for all that fantastic analytical information. You can find Higgs premium picks and packages over at picksandparlays.net. Use our promo code when you get there. Good luck this week, Sean. Thanks, everybody.